What's good everybody, it's your boy Rhino, and today I'm going to be talking about these hoverboards that are now supposedly blowing up and catching on fire. So I'm going to let you guys know, is your board going to blow up? Is my board going to blow up? We're doing good so far. Hasn't blown up yet. But I'm gonna let you guys know everything that's happening and how you can prevent your board from blowing up. Answering the question, is my board gonna explode? Probably not. The issue with these boards is that there are cheap lithium ion batteries from China in them and that's what's causing the fire hazard. Most of these boards come from China. Of course, there's the professional companies, Iohawk, Mono Rover. I think one thing was called a Swagway. <sighs> Swag. My mother asked me, do you have a Swagway? I was like, give me something to throw. It's a swagway, man. What the hell? If you have a swagway, stop doing everything. Anyway, the cheap Chinese batteries are what are causing this fire hazard. I'm cordial from everything that comes from the Asian area, you know. The board came in. I was cordial, you know. Ni hao. Thank you very much. But here's the issue. The quality of these boards that are from China is extremely low. So, sorry for the Chinese in the, that area. I don't know. I'm not trying to back the Chinese or anything. Have y'all seen Red Dawn? Have y'all seen the interview? Have y'all seen No Escape with Owen Wilson? Let me chill. Never mind. But for real, these cheap Chinese batteries are the issue and that's what the fire hazard is. I'm gonna tell you how to prevent your board from ever having any complications and possibly catching on fire. Number one is do not overcharge your hoverboard. When you overcharge it, the lithium ion battery, the particles inside of it, they start to lose their function, the functionality, the board doesn't last as long. You have lithium ion batteries in your iPhone, but they're not banning iPhones. Literally, someone come over here and try and take my iPhone away from me, tell me I can't have it on a plane. Are you paying this phone bill? I didn't think so, but I'm sorry. So essentially, do not ever overcharge your heart. Oh, there you go. Take you on a new swagway, just cop. Did this man? Did this man just say swagway? No one, give me something to throw. Give me something to throw. How y'all been? Oh, <laughs> Any hoosies. The second thing you can do to prevent your hoverboard from catching on fire is just taking care of it. Do not let anyone violate your board. As be very careful with them. They're pretty expensive, you know? When I bought my Swagway, it was about $249 of eBay. Shipping itself, $70. The new battery I had to replace it with because I kept falling down the steps with it was about $34. So just, you just gotta be careful with them, you know? They're very sensitive material. So anyway, he has dementia, I'm sorry. He fell. All right, so. You threw a bag at me. Let's get my Swagway. Do not let anyone violate your hoverboard. When I say violate, I mean don't run it into a light post. Be very... No. Does that count as no. violating? <laughs> Always supervise everyone and anyone who wants to try to ride your hoverboard. If you're friendly like me and let other people try it, supervise them. Don't let them run it into a curb because here's what happens. When someone runs it into a light post, a piece within the hoverboard can get dislodged and then puncture the lithium battery, potentially causing another fire hazard. Only one person has ever actually violated my board. I'm not going to name any names, Sophie. But just honestly, be very careful with it and treat your board with respect. You really should not be too worried about it catching on fire. If if you have a hoverboard that has those Bluetooth speakers, I don't even get them at the mall, I don't know. I suggest not playing our mixtape about that action because it will inevitably catch on fire. In conclusion, just treat your board like a newborn baby. Would you run your new baby into a light post? Would you plug your baby into a wall and overcharge him overnight? Would you leave him in a pot and let him burn? Y'all ever read the book, A Child Called It? I'm playing, but for real, give it a name. My hoverboard's name is Julianne and we have a great relationship. So honestly, at the end of the day, your board is not gonna blow up or catch on fire or explode unless you don't take care of it. So treat your board with respect and then will in turn treat you with respect. So when you ask your mother, can I get one? Will you buy me one for Christmas? Let her know the facts about the lithium ion batteries. I know my mother told me, charge your hoverboard in the garage because I'm not having to catch fire in my house. And I was like, mom, I didn't know the facts at the time. She know the facts. So if you want to have your mother know the facts, send them to this video. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you get your hoverboard. Don't charge overnight. Don't let anyone violate it, you know? It's your baby. Treat it like a child. Take care of it, and it'll take care of you. Catch you guys in the next one. All right, no, uh, catch you guys in the next one. I've stood here this whole time. No, like, this light up. Hey, shout out my boy No No. He the light man, the director. This his camera. This his house. This his chain. His white boy swag. Follow him on Instagram at Love Live Serve X. Stop. <laughs> <laughs>